Hi, I'm Mary Brennan, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts. Liberal Arts at its core is about humanity and about different ways of addressing humanity and studying humanity and understanding that. And that means that we have to be a part of any discussion about diversity and inclusion. We are involved in helping the university to transform its curriculum, helping professors find ways to do this. And our key way is through a program developed by the Center for Diversity and Gender Studies called the Multicultural Curriculum Transformation and Research Institute. Every spring, we offer a program that helps faculty transform their curriculum in ways that are going to be more inclusive. Hello, my name is Gloria P. Martinez Ramos, and I'm the director of the Center for Diversity and Gender Studies and director of Latino Studies. The Center for Diversity and Gender Studies offers a variety of academic programs for students to learn more about diversity, gender studies, and women's studies. Latino Studies is a multidisciplinary academic program that is housed in the Department of Sociology. Every year we host a variety of activities, uh, extracurricular activities, where students can learn more about the changing Latinx community in the United States and in Texas. We host a variety of activities and speakers. Um, most notably, we have an annual speaker or event that highlights the changing Latino community, which we have reflected or reflects uh, the idea of Latinidades. I am happy to be working with Dr. Joanna Goldstone and Kiara Haynes in developing what we are calling, for want of a better name, Bobcat Brothers and Sisters. We are gathering mentors, African American and Latinx students who will be able to serve as mentors to our new incoming students. Hi, my name is Dewana Goldstone and I'm an Associate Professor of History and I am the Director of the African American Studies Program here at Texas State University. The African American Studies Program here at Texas State offers classes, supports co-curricular activities, as well as diversity initiatives here at Texas State. One of the events I did last year was with the Pan-African Action Committee, and we hosted a showing of James Baldwin's film, I Am Not Your Negro. One of the events we have planned in the fall of 2021 is what's called a living learning community. And I'm working with the Latin X minor, and together with the African American Studies minor, we are working to build a community where students who are African American Studies or Latin X minors will live together in a dorm. And part of the idea is for them to take what they learn in the, in the classroom and to bring it back into their living space. And then we'll work with them to do events on campus to promote what they are doing. I'm Paul Hart, professor of history and director of the Center for International Studies. Some of the ways that the center supports diversity and inclusion at Texas State are the Perkins Study Abroad Program, which is uh, an award from the Association of Black American Ambassadors that helps support um, primarily African American but other minority students who uh, otherwise might not be able to participate in our study abroad programs. The center supports diversity and inclusion at the graduate level through uh, the Coverdell program, which is in alliance with the Peace Corps and offers returning Peace Corps volunteers interested in pursuing a master's degree in international studies uh, support for them to do so. The center also is active in graduate student recruitment at Hispanic serving and minority, historically minority serving institutions. It's important to support diversity and inclusion on a university campus because the campus is reflective of the world in which these students will enter. And so it's a good place for students of all colors 
to come together and to learn what it is to be different, what it is to, to share commonalities, and it's a really good place for people to talk about things that perhaps they're not able to talk about in their home communities because they don't live in diverse communities themselves.